Happy Vlogmas Day 6. Christmas tree. Hello guys, <laughs> I blame all of you who told me to watch Firefly Lane. I have not been able to get off the couch. What ep I'm on episode four. I had my coffee, I had some oatmeal, and I've just been sitting here getting work done on my computer, uploading vlogmas and random things, but I need to get up. I'm like feeling really anxious and weird, and I think it's because I've just been bleh, but... Yeah, I need to get up, I need to make my bed, I want to take a shower and get ready for the day. Um, nothing really planned today other than stuff in the evening. I'm going to a Pilates class. My friends Danielle and Allie are like host, they're stylists and they're hosting a Pilates class with New York Pilates in Bandier. So they sent me a set to wear which will be fun. And then after I really want to go check out the Union Square Holiday Market. It's so magical at night and really cute. I'm going to see if Ryan can come. I've just been doing work. I didn't do a cute morning montage this morning. Sorry about it. This show is literally so good. Oh, <laughs> goodbye show. Netflix, Firefly Lane. I'm watching season one, but apparently season two just came out. So you've got lots to watch. We've got two advent calendars to open this morning. First up, as always, my forever mood candle of the day. Ooh, left on red. Savage. What does it smell like? Oh, that smells yummy, like spicy, autumn, cozy. <laughs> I'm great at explaining things, I know. And then I have my L'Occitane. I love L'Occitane products so much. I've already opened a few, but I'm starting late. So I did open yesterday's. Where's six? Six. December 6th. Let's see. I literally love L'Occitane products. This is such a treat. Ooh. What'll it be? Oh, my God. Shut up. Oh my god, my hair is literally a mess. This is so cute. I've been into, I think I literally made it a favorite on the podcast recently is having a comb in your purse. It's kind of a vibe. So this one's even minier. This can fit in the miniest of my bags. It's really comical that I, oh, <laughs> my curtains, that I put things like this of myself on the internet. Gonna take today's supplements. Cheers. <laughs> I dropped one. Ah! Wow, it is so dark in here. <laughs> Once again, where is my Kindle? On the ground because I always <laughs> fall asleep while reading and like drop it to the side. It's another rainy day, which is sometimes not very motivating, <sighs> but we're gonna get through it. Okay, showered, did my makeup. Um, I was like, let me get ready for the day. I also have some sponsored content to film. Um, but I just like, I need to get ready to feel good, you know? Um, today I'm using my Dyson Airwrap. Oh, also you can still enter my Dyson Airwrap giveaway until next Monday, December 12th. Giving away the Dyson Airwrap. All you have to do to enter is go to my TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn. I'm like holding my hair. Follow, follow me there. And then comment on the TikTok I have pinned of Ryan and I putting up the Christmas tree. Um, your favorite thing about the holidays. And if you win, I will follow you, DM you, and send you your prize. So go follow me on TikTok. But I'm just taking it and doing like the ends of my hair to kind of make it look flippy, yuppy. So normally I would use these to curl my hair, but today I'm using it to just flip up the ends of my hair. Um, I really like this look. It's so easy because you're not grabbing all of your hair. You're just grabbing the ends and it's so cute. I think I grabbed too much hair, but see it like actually did still work. It's 
done. That literally took me like eight minutes. I don't even know. Um, it literally makes you look like you went and got a blowout. So love that. Hopefully it stays. <laughs> okay. I just put on this hoodie from Aritzia. I wore it in day one of Vlogmas as well. I love it. I am obsessed with this right now. I always pretty much wear MAC Lust um, or that just like general like mauve pink rosy color. Also just put on these earrings from Love AJ. Um, but this is like a little bit of a different color. It's the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the color Orchid. I wore it yesterday when we recorded the podcast and I thought it was so pretty. It's a little bit more pinky and this is just so moisturizing and feels so good on your lips. It's kind of like a glossy bomb, but I really like it. It adds some color. Yay. Okay, I'm going to do some filming and I will... <laughs> You're watching Disney Channel. Dun, 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 dun. It's like I just cleaned and now I just have everything everywhere. I just have cozy like barefoot dreams pants on right now and I'm going to go outside. So I'm going to put on the set that I'm wearing later to Pilates. This is the brand. Well, it's Bandier. But I think it's from their like well, it's called like Wellesley line. Hold on, let me just make sure. Wesley is the line. It's like um, no seam, seamless leggings, stuff like that. So I'm gonna put this set on and then kind of build an outfit around it to stay warm. But I think it's like 50 degrees outside. It's not too cold today because it's kind of raining. So I'll probably just throw this hoodie on over top and maybe, maybe a vest. Ooh, you know I love my vests. <laughs> okay, this might be one of the comfiest sets I've ever put on my body not being paid to say this i promise this brand wesley is really cute like and i didn't have to like pull up the leggings and like try to get in them but they're still like snatchy they, it was actually very comfortable and they're, they're very thick so it's good for this time of year um so yeah i'm excited to do plotties in the set later i'm gonna put back on this hoodie and do a vest i think I got this vest from NAKD. I did a big old haul from them. Not big, I got like four things on Black Friday because they had some really cute stuff. And a vest always adds more warmth. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I like this vest because you can like cinch the waist if you want. I think that's so cute and flattering, but I don't need to do that with the hoodie. We are gonna go to the grocery store. I know I literally got groceries yesterday. But you guys know I always love to make the cauliflower thins with the turkey. And I was talking to my friend Seb, shout out. And she was like, you could add sub sauce and sprouts, tomato, lettuce. And I was like, that would make it way more filling and way more delicious. Because if you guys went to Publix, like growing up as a kid and like getting sandwiches, um, it was a grocery store. Their sub sauce is so good. And she told me the ingredients. And I knew it was like vinegar, olive oil, something like that. But she told me the exact ingredients to like make the sub sauce so i kind of want to make sub sauce at home i have glass jars that i could put it in and i want to go buy sprouts lettuce and tomato and make myself a yummy turkey sandwich and then i also i'm gonna come back and make that and then go back out when i was talking to ryan last night he was like okay so when do you want to exchange christmas gifts and i was like <laughs> i've gotten him i've talked about in the podcast i got him these j crew boxers that have like eggs on them because he like loves eggs and flipping eggs if you guys know you know um but that's like all i've gotten him so far so he told me he's so easy he was like i want clothes from madewell he was very specific with where he wants his clothes from i feel like a lot of guys they want clothes for christmas because they don't want to go shopping but they want to look good and they always want to wear something that you got them because they know that you're gonna like it and they're gonna hopefully look good so i'm gonna come back make the lunch and then we'll go to madewell if i i think i'm yeah i'll have time the workout's until six um and get that done today so i'm feeling good hey fire safety <sighs> Blow out those candles. Here is my rainy day fit to go to the grocery store and shopping. Yeah, I already told you where everything's from. Tote bag for my groceries, Air Force Ones. grocery haul I got more sourdough bread I got some sprouts for my samwich I realized I was low on chamomile tea so I grabbed some 
got some butter lettuce. This was grown the hydroponic way. My parents used to grow something hydroponic like when I was young. Really random. Um, got ground oregano, red wine vinegar, and I already have olive oil here to make the sub sauce. I got two apples. Red delicious apples are just the best, like seriously. And I will wash these when I eat them. And my produce bowl is overflowing. And then I got tomatoes for my sandwich as well. All right, let's make it. I have this from my juicing era. I haven't juiced in so long, um, but it's great. It's what I would put my ginger shots in, so I'm just gonna use this to put the sub sauce, except no, I should probably use this one because then I can pour it, duh. All right, so I like happen to have all these things. That's why I was like, let me do this. I have this, I have a funnel, which is very handy. I don't know, this recipe I literally found online, like just cause I wanted to get my proportions right. It's olive oil, red wine vinegar, dried basil, which I was just like, I'm not gonna do. And then oregano, ground oregano, um, and then salt and pepper. Got all the things we are going to make. I hope this tastes good. This says three fourths cup of olive oil. Olive oil is taking its sweet time going down the funnel here. All right, now it says one fourth cup of the red wine vinegar. I feel like this is what's gonna give it that nice yummy tang. I need to find a recipe that I need red wine vinegar for. <laughs> it's a lot of red wine vinegar. This is like the only one they really had there. This is like a science project, I'm thriving. Whoa, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then we're gonna add in the one teaspoon of the oregano. Okay, I'm just gonna do this over the sink, BRB. Okay, and honestly, I'm not gonna put salt and pepper in here. So I'm making it my own. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, I have to shake it. Am I at Publix yet? <laughs> I mean, not just Publix has sub sauce. I know like everywhere has sub sauce, but I just think of it from Publix. This looks like it's gonna be so good. Okay, I'm excited. Look at us making a healthy yet yummy lunch. All right, here are all the ingredients. I'm gonna put two of these in the toaster just to kind of warm them up. And my friend Seb was the one who suggested I do sprouts and she suggested I toss the sub sauce in the sprouts, which makes sense. And then I'll put like some more on the sandwich. Oh my, I'm like so excited. Let's get after it. but this looks incredible. Okay, you guys, we're gonna try this sandwich together. I, I don't even know like if it's gonna stay together, but we're at home, we can be messy. This looks so good. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. There are so many flavors happening. I am so happy with this. Cause I just put turkey on it typically. But I mean, look at that. I'm so proud of myself. I like never make a sandwich like this. Mm. And the sub sauce is good too. That was so delicious. I'm checking my teeth to make sure there's nothing in it. We are headed back out there. This outfit was perfect. It was just warm enough. And we're gonna go to Madewell Men's. And I also might stop by Paper Source because I don't even think I said it in the vlog, but I said in the podcast, we're doing, I'm doing a Santa Con. I don't know if I'm attending Santa Con, like doing all that, but I'm gonna have like a party pregame at my apartment this Saturday, like a festive one. So I wanna see if they have like any decor. Cause I got paper plates and stuff. I didn't get any decor, but I also like have a Christmas tree. So it's not that necessary, but I just wanna see what they have. I also just love paper source. So let's go. was a huge win at Madewell. Everything was 40% off. So I got Ryan his winter clothes. <laughs> 
Sephora's right here and I need more lip balm, so we're just gonna go inside and there's also a drunk elephant product I really wanna try, the tanning drops, so we'll see if they have it. light set behind my vlog camera best thing ever okay i just got back very successful like i said madewell was 40 percent off everything i think the last time i went it was with ryan to madewell everything was 40 percent off too not arguing at all because i was able to get him more things um i'm so happy he you know you guys have seen his clothes he's just very like simple kind of like timeless dressing, I feel. I don't know, I don't know what the word is. He doesn't have a style, but like, you know, he, he like, like J. Crew made well, like that kind of vibe. He'll wear what, literally whatever I get him, because he's like, okay, like that means it's good. <laughs> I don't know men's fashion at all. These are just things I think would look good on him. Anyways, Brian, I doubt, he's not watching this, so we're fine. First off, I got him this flannel. It's like a thick one, because honestly, it's just starting to get cold here. It's gonna be really cold here, January, February, March, so I know this will, come in handy it's like this blue color with like an orangey plaid on it this jacket i love he only has a few jackets he has a carhartt that's similar but i just love this olive green color jacket guys on the inside it's like thick it's padded this is such his vibe he has a carhartt like a, like i was saying in a tan color kind of like this there's pocket and it, it, i just know this is super warm and i think this would look so good with the flannel underneath and jeans and boots um, and I like how there's a collar on it too I'm excited to see his reaction for the jacket and then I just got him two long sleeve shirts this one is a maroon color and just has like a pocket on it long sleeve really nice thick material and then also this graphite gray color it's the same style so that's what I got it made well. I love buying Christmas gifts in person. I don't know why like I'll shop for myself online But for some reason shopping for Christmas gifts in person is so fun because typically the stores are playing holiday music And I don't know I feel like people are in a festive mood other people in there are buying gifts I don't know it just hits diff I did stop by Sephora to get more lip balm because I am noticing I'm becoming a lip balm snob There's only certain ones I want to put on my lips um, these are my two favorites. I've repurchased them so much. The Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is the non-tinted one. It's just a clear one, but it applies so nicely and so lovely. And then this is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Berry. Um, I guess it has like a slightly pinky tone, but it's pretty much clear for the most part. I love these two so much and I'm constantly running out of them. So I was like, I'm by Sephora. Let me get some more because I also just can't find my Summer Fridays one. I think it's almost done. That's why and it's just hiding somewhere. And then I stopped by Press Juicery. I'm a member there. Highly suggest because like every few times I go, I get a free shot or a free drink. So that's always really exciting because sometimes I'll literally go in there just to get a shot. Um, so then they'll be like, oh, it's on us. It's free. So if you go to press, get the membership. They have something called the shot bundle where you can get six shots um, for a fixed price. And I just got all of the wellness shots because I love ginger shots and I wanna stay healthy and happy and ginger just has so many benefits, you guys know. I don't need to explain ginger shots. And then I also just got myself a greens two juice for me for now. Um, this one has apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, kale, and parsley. I love a green juice that has apple in it because it just makes it a little bit tastier. I have about an hour until Pilates, so I'm just gonna put all this stuff away. I need to hide this stuff because Ryan might come over later. Um, we're actually gonna go to the Union Square Holiday Market tonight, which I'm so excited. This day is turning around and yeah, I'm just gonna do some emails. All right, we are headed to Pilates. I haven't done a Pilates workout in a minute, but it's at New York Pilates. I don't know if I said that. I really, really like it. I've been there twice. Um, and it's a very calming atmosphere. Danielle and Allie are the best. I'm gonna take a ginger shot as well. And I think we're, and since it's like with Bandier, I think we're getting like some goodie bags. So love a goodie bag and I love Bandier and they said they're like wellness essentials. So oh, also bringing my Hydro Flask. That's the one thing about the Stanley Cup. 
I don't really like to travel with it because this I can throw in my tote bag, whereas the Stanley Cup I'd have to hold the whole time. Little problems, but it's nice to have something portable as well. I'm really liking this fit. It's just because it's warm enough today to do this. Typically, I would need like another jacket over this. All right, let's go get our workout in. I still have my makeup on. Who is she? workout i'm trying my mary's these crackers are so good they're so great with hummus i'm on the hunt for a dupe for the ithaca hummus because it's very hard for me to find so i'm trying the cedars with lemon because i noticed that that's why i like the ithaca one this isn't bad it's not ithaca but it'll do <laughs> mm. it's a good little bite but pilates was fun New York Pilates is such a vibe, like, it's not relaxing by any means, and it's definitely hard, like, my legs are shaking, but they really curate the vibes, so it's like a workout, but, I don't know, it's really good for my anxiety, is what I'm trying to say, like, I feel calm, but also, like, I'm doing something, and it's, like, it's hard, it's not easy, but it's, I don't know, it's good for the nervous system, it's a good nervous system workout, I think, because it's also very focused on breathing, like, like and they direct you with the breathing it was me and mostly models <laughs> which i should have figured because jay and ali have like you know they work with a lot of models for styling and stuff and they're all so nice and so cool and some of them i knew um but i was just laughing like me and all the models but i had a blast and the workout was great and except it's raining right now so i don't know if it's the vibe for ryan and i to go to the holiday market it was like raining earlier but it was doable because it was like barely anything but now it's like coming down so i don't know i really try not to complain about this because it's such an amazing problem to have and i'm so happy for him but i feel like in the last like six months or so ryan's work has just gotten even crazier i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate it's either you in the relationship or your partner or both of you um, and I'm literally so happy for him that he's so busy, but his nights are just getting like super long. And I feel like since we don't live together, it's, it's tough because I'm very into quality time. So like we were going to do the holiday market, but I don't even think he could have because I just talked to him and he's like, I'm just honestly getting swamped with work. Like happens. And I, I don't know. It's just like hitting me extra tonight. It just kind of sucks sometimes. Like. But there's nothing you could do about it. I'm so happy for him. I just like hope that he's like getting enough rest and you know, he loves what he does So I love that and I love his team and everything It just kind of sucks sometimes like it's seven o'clock. I want to like eat dinner together and Watch TV. I guess that would be a benefit to like living together is then you know, you're at least like around I feel like recently we we like kind we like kind of see each other during the week, but it's like the weekends where we just kind of like hang out the whole weekend when we can because we don't really see each other during the week um but i don't know sometimes it bothers me sometimes it doesn't but tonight it's just bothering me i think because i'm just really nervous about the live show and he's being as supportive as he can he just like literally has to work like last night i think he really like didn't have time to come over but we hadn't seen each other um so we like brought his computer and he like ended up having to work like like we didn't really get to cook together or anything he like was working the whole time he was here and then we actually did get to watch a show together for like 40 minutes which was nice i feel like there used to be like a financial boyfriend group for the girlfriends <laughs> like i don't know because i talked to some of my other friends too they're like yeah it's just that is how it is and i'm again i'm seriously so happy i'm trying not to complain and i don't think i really ever talk about this but uh it's just hitting me extra tonight and i just want to like cuddle up and watch something but that's okay the universe has different plans for me tonight i'm gonna have a self-care evening shower i'm gonna make some dinner i don't know which dinner i'm gonna make tonight but it's gonna be good and um i'm just gonna relax i'm comfy showered i decided this is what is going to be for dinner tonight we're gonna do some yellow rice broccoli and black beans, one of my favorites.
was delicious. I'm gonna put everything away and then get cozied up on my couch. And I'm kind of just writing out because I literally make lists for everything. Um, Christmas gifts that I'm getting for everyone and kind of like, okay, what needs to happen in order to get those? Like I said, I like to buy things in person, but some things I might have to get like shipped to my house. I also want to give things to my doorman, some people that work for me, stuff like that. So I'm just kind of planning logistically all of that. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.